violence, drugs, and fear, more than 150 charges laid after investigation into Toronto street gang. Toronto police say they have made 32 arrests and laid 158 criminal charges following a nearly year-long investigation into a Toronto street gang that was allegedly using Canada Post to distribute drugs to other provinces. Police made the announcement at a news conference on Thursday where they provided details on Project Fox. The 11-month investigation targeted the alleged activities of the Jamestown Crips street gang. While that gang has historical roots in the Etobicoke area, police say that their alleged crimes span well beyond those borders, Toronto gangs are not just a local problem. Their influence is no longer contained to specific streets and areas in our city. As you can see from this investigation their criminal networks extend far beyond Toronto, reaching into other provinces and affecting communities across the country, Inspa Paul Krauchik said. This investigation affected areas across Ontario and cities like Thompson, Manitoba, and St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. Their reach into these communities spreads violence, drugs and fear and we must do everything we can to stop them. As part of the investigation officers executed 35 search warrants in Toronto, Hamilton, Vaughan, Brampton, Mississauga, Guelph and Thompson, Manitoba, which resulted in the arrest of the 32 suspects. The investigation led to the seizure of nine firearms, 4.7 kilos of cocaine, with an approximate street value of $568,000, 6 kilos of methamphetamine, with an approximate street value of $480,000, and over $320,000 in proceeds of crime. They're concealing it. They're making it look like a regular package and obviously lots of packages are going through Canada Post daily, hourly. Inspector Paul Krauchik said of the gang's alleged use of the mail system to smuggle drugs. They were trying to conceal what they were doing, but our investigation revealed this, and so we worked with Canada Post to intercept packages before they got to St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. The Toronto Police Service initially partnered with York Regional Police, Peel Regional Police Service and the Ontario Provincial Police in the investigation. Krauchik said they focused on Jamestown Crips because it's historically well-established in Toronto's Rexdale neighborhood, which has faced a disproportionate amount of violent crimes such as shootings, carjacking, and robberies. Gangs operate with a total disregard for the safety and well-being of others. The criminal activities endanger innocent lives and destabilize communities. We are taking decisive action to remove these dangerous elements from our streets, he told reporters. Police said the 158 criminal charges include possession of a controlled substance for the purpose of trafficking, possession of a prohibited device, possession of proceeds of crime, trafficking, conspiracy, firearms offenses, tampering with a serial number, assault, participating in the activities of a criminal organization and commission of an offense for a criminal organization. The suspects range in age from 16 to 40. For a full list of the suspects and the charges they are facing follow this link. Our intention is to disrupt. I'm not going to be up here trying to pretend that the gang doesn't exist as of this morning, but the reality is, you know, when you can take nine guns off the street, just one gun can be used in dozens of shootings and claim innocent lives, Krauchik said.